Good day to our capstone professor, Professor Reynaldo G. Alves, capstone advisor, Engineer Greta Rosario, to the panelists, the chairperson and members, I am Mara Cristo de Mero and I would like to greet you all a pleasant day. We will be presenting our capstone project one entitled Student Athletes Quick Response Code-Based Incentive System for Rizal Technological University, together with my fellow opponents. Good day, I'm Anthony J. Cruz. I am Mark Joseph Basig. And I am Mary J. G. Eco. Introduction. Face-to-face -face classes become blended learning as coronavirus spreads, and the Department of Education and Commission on Higher Education, or CHED, implemented an online learning system. The university subsystems are not fully connected despite the fact that the system is computerized. Due to a lack of manpower in the current system, students must wait in a long line which consumes the majority of their time. The current outbreak is reducing the danger of coronavirus infection. This proposal aims to convert traditional payments into cashless transactions that may apply to Rizal Technological University Bonnie Campus student athletes. When the cashier exchanges their collected points for Philippine Peso, the transaction will be saved on the database server as a record. It provides an accounting report for the Sport Development Office to review. Background of the study. The Bonnie Campus of Rizal Technological University has a dormitory where student athletes can reside and use the room for the entire academic year. For the person in charge, distributing the players' incentives once a week is a tough task. Physical contact is required for the distribution and exchange of incentives since the incentives comes with a piece of paper designated as one stop, it's impossible to ignore it. And now, let's move on to the objectives of the study. The primary objective of this study is to design and develop an electronic wallet system that will be used by the student athletes for certain purposes, namely electronic payment transactions at any related non-monetary exchange of university-based establishments for a faster and secure way of purchase. Now, the objectives of the proposed system are, first, to provide an effective and secured way of payment transaction for student athletes at any university-based establishments such as University Canteen and Kawani Multipurpose Cooperative Cashiers to claim incentives. Second, to develop a web application where it helps the student athletes related facilitators to monitor the usage of the incentives. Third, the allowing sports development office to create accounts of student athletes in their respective sports event. Fourth, to create, read, update, and delete student athletes' information by the system admin. Fifth, establish a platform for all student athletes to have their separate account for incentives like claiming food stubs. Sixth, attaining the corresponding points from Sports Development Office to redeem the incentives using the web application. And lastly, using web application, they can generate a QR code in their account to utilize their points for claiming food stubs. For significance of the study, the researchers were expected to assist, administer, and provide information about this study which will benefit the following, student athletes, administrators, school establishments, Rizal Technological University main campus, researchers, future researchers, and information technology students, and the non-information technology students. Scope and Limitation This project focuses on the efficiency and productivity of students and other people who this study will be significant. This is to reduce the amount of time people have to wait for the product or service that the university provides. Particularly, this study will cover payment transactions within the university. However, the number of points the account can hold will be limited to avoid misuse. Furthermore, they may use their digital wallet to access their student account when purchasing within the school premises. First scope is the project will be managed by the Sports Development Office. 
Second, the users are the SDO administrators, student athletes, and cashiers. Third, SDO is the only one who can access the dashboard panel, student athletes information, and add points. Fourth, student athletes can view their transaction history, balance, and QR code. And lastly, cashiers can only view the basic information of the student athlete for authentication through scanning the QR code. Limitations. The system can only give access for those who are officially enrolled and certified as student athlete. Second, the system is not designed to provide monetary benefits. Third, the system cannot be used by kiosk vendors and stores. Fourth, the system does not support refunds and peer-to-peer -peer transaction. Technical feasibility. The web application requires a minimum hardware specification of Intel Core series or higher. The RAM will be at least 4 gig RAM and above. The storage is at least 256 gigabyte SSD and above. This will run in any software specification as it only requires any browser and network connectivity. The computer will be the platform of the researchers in designing and programming the proposed web application using Visual Studio Code. To run the web application, any web browser of the personal computer and mobile phone will be needed. Schedule feasibility. This is the timetable featuring the estimated specific quantifications of maximum intended program implementation. Development method. The development of the student athlete's quick response code based incentive system will follow the rapid application development life cycle method to analyze the problems and determine a feasible report of solutions that will be used throughout the process. Additionally, this is to be utilized by the researchers due to its rapid prototype releases and iterative method where it allows the researchers to continue certain procedures concurrently when they notice and some valuable changes to be done and will serve as an aid in developing the proposed system. Now, let's go to the system architecture. System architecture is the conceptual model that defines the structure, behavior, and more views of the proposed system. As you can see in the figure, there is a student athlete where he can log his respective account into the web application and generates QR code to use the incentive points of the cashier. In order to, to process the transaction, the cashier will scan to verify the QR code. After the successful process, it will direct to the system admin to modify the transaction and make changes to the database. Collecting information that will reflect to the student athlete's account. All of, of the information that will be collected will be saved to the server and can be accessed by the system admin. Use case diagram. This use case diagram has three users, namely the student athlete cashier, and administrator. Each user has their own set of actions that they could do. A student athlete can view their balance, transaction history, QR code, and request points to the administrator. A cashier can log in and can deduct points only when the student makes a purchase. An administrator can log in, manage the records, and add points to the student athlete's wallet. Now, we will show you the initial prototype that was designed based on the gathered information for a quick response code-based incentive system. However, the aim was not to make a finite solution. Instead, the objective is to get ideas from the users to achieve the development of the prototype. In the student-athlete interface, we have the desktop and mobile view that has to be responsive. They have to log in if the credentials that was entered were invalid, an alert message will pop up, which they have to correct. As they were authenticated, what showed there were three functions, view balance, in which the user can view their corresponding points and the transaction history. And secondly, the request points button, which the student athlete can use the request and claim points to the administrator in case of failed replenishment on the wallet. 
But if the specific student athletes all has already redeemed his or her allocated points, an error message will appear. Lastly, is the QR code generated as they click the view QR code button that is accessible and can be used by the student athletes for their payment transaction as they purchase items within school establishments. This will be the prototype of administrator interface, admin login form, admin dashboard, create account, student master list, account overview, Load points, update account, archive list, request points. That, that would be all. Thank you. you.